bank use in Ontario is at an all-time high. Rising food prices affect all of us. There's been a dramatic increase in the number of people using food banks. Is paying for groceries, healthy food, a worry for you? Main food bank in Mississauga is rolling out some new technology tonight. It's installed a hydroponic system in hopes of supplying its clients with a fresh supply of locally grown vegetables and even some fish. One, two, three, smile. I think the big picture here is sustainability. What we started here is an aquaponics farm in the food bank. And what aquaponics is, is a combination of two technologies. It's combining aquaculture, which is fish farming, as well as hydroponics, which is farming without any soil. So together you combine something really unique where you get a protein crop in the fish, as well as a vegetable crop in the lettuce that we're growing. So how aquaponics works is that we feed the fish, and from that they provide us with some waste. Uh, within the water there's bacteria that converts that waste into a fertilizer called nitrates, and the plants really love that. Many people are surprised to know that all this is water under here, so I'll show you really quickly. And you can see that the roots just hang down into the water, and that's what's taking up the nutrients pretty much 24-7. And it's one big happy cycle, and everyone's having a very synergistic relationship. It's really taking control in our own hands, rather than relying on donations or farming projects, which we've tried to do in the past. We thought, well, let's see if we can control our destiny, if you will. We try to do the best we can with the donations we have to give out good quality food. Treat people decently and, you know, and uh, they're in a tough position. Why shouldn't they have some fresh food? It's important to because uh, it, it's better healthy, it's healthier food. So in terms of health of our clients, um, the nutritional quality, it also teaches them about eating healthy foods. You know, we're not handing out uh, prime rib and, you know, wine, fine wines. And we, we keep it balanced in terms of the kind of food we give out. Those uh, large, sort of city-centered food banks, we see them growing more of their own food because uh, they're not because there's no farmland left or the or farm donations are down. So um, I think this is a trend we're going to see more of to offset the declining supply of fresh food. Uh, these fish have been in here for about six months and when we received them they were about a month old. This is our first time uh, harvesting our fish because this was our first batch of fish that came in. And there we go. Do you mind grabbing that guy? There you go. Right now, we're transferring the fish because it's time to purge them. And what that means is when we're harvesting them, we uh, stop feeding them for a while. If you don't feed them for several days, three to six days, they say, that gives them the best flavor and the best quality meat. So ideally, they'll stay in this tank here for five days and on Friday, we can take them out and uh, take them to the fish processor. It's 6.30 a.m. We're here at the Mississauga Food Bank and we're heading off to the fish processor with our tilapia that we've been growing for the last six months to get processed and then we'll ship it out to the food banks on Monday to uh, feed the hungry folks here in Mississauga. Very exciting day. <laughs> So we just got back from the processors. It took them a couple hours to process the fish, but we got nice fillets. There's two fillets per package, and we'll be going out to, uh, to a food bank on Monday. Hi, I'm good. How are you? Today we have fresh uh, fish. It's the first day. Nowadays, uh, a lot of our clients are asking for a fresh food and fresh meat. When we have it on a regular basis, this will uh, add a lot of value for our uh, food banks and our plants. First time I got the fresh uh, fish today. Uh, in the end, I'm uh, so happy to get uh, some fresh uh, fish and the fresh food from the food bank. It's so healthy for me and for family. And I wish uh, next month I find the same uh, product again. <laughs> 